Remember the whirlwind of COVID-19 and its seemingly endless variants? While it felt like a brand new experience, infectious disease outbreaks have actually been a constant companion to humanity throughout history. Buckle up, because we're taking a deep dive into the most significant infectious diseases that have plagued each century. Leprosy, an ancient scourge, not a modern mystery. Leprosy's history stretches far back, even if the name itself wasn't always used. Mentions of skin conditions in the Bible and Hindu Vedas dating back to 2000 BCE likely refer to leprosy. Ancient Greek and Roman references to elephantiasis might also describe its symptoms. This once dreaded disease is caused by bacteria that attack nerves, skin, eyes, and the respiratory system. Nerve damage can lead to numbness, causing injuries and infections that might require limb amputation. While scary, leprosy isn't easily spread. It requires prolonged close contact, often with someone coughing or having nasal discharge. Living conditions played a role. Low-income areas with poor hygiene facilitated transmission. By the 10th century in Europe, leprosy was a major public health concern. The church responded by isolating patients in leper colonies, often run by monks. While treatment then focused on isolation rather than cure, these colonies aimed to care for the afflicted. Today, antibiotics effectively treat leprosy. Imagine if we could send some back in a time machine. Problem solved. The Medieval Mystery Was it really the flu? The Middle Ages were plagued by respiratory illnesses, but pinpointing them as flu can be tricky. Back then, similar symptoms likely stemmed from various infections. Medieval doctors didn't have our understanding of influenza. The first clear influenza pandemic we know of emerged around 1510 in East Asia, reaching North Africa and Europe. This major outbreak was followed by seasonal flu occurrences and additional pandemics in 1557 and 1580. By the 16th century's end, despite a deeper understanding of the disease, the flu had already caused widespread infection and death. Even with medical advancements, nearly everyone in affected areas was infected, with a death rate around 1%. Flu outbreaks continued to plague Europe throughout the modern era. In 1729, a rapid influenza outbreak reached pandemic levels within six months, eventually hitting the Americas. An even larger scale outbreak, believed to have originated in China in 1781, ravaged the world, claiming tens of millions of lives, particularly among the young. The Black Death, a devastating dance with the plague. The bubonic plague, forever etched in history as the Black Death, wasn't just a scary name. It was a brutal pandemic that ravaged Europe, Western Asia, and North Africa, starting in 1346. Estimates suggest a staggering 75 to 200 million lives were lost, wiping out 30% to 60% of Europe's population, a demographic deletion more permanent than any bad tattoo removal. While some historians blame the Mongol conquests for the plague's rapid spread in Europe, other theories hold water. One suggests fleas hitched a ride on rats, living on Genoese ships, carrying the disease throughout the Mediterranean and beyond. Talk about a nasty surprise in a shipping container. The plague lingered as a European menace for centuries. Its final major eruption occurred in London in 1665, claiming a quarter of the city's population, roughly 100,000 people within just 18 months. London back then was a perfect storm for plague dirty, overcrowded, and lacking proper sanitation. Imagine overflowing sewage flowing through the streets, a stark contrast to today's gripes about English weather or quirky breakfasts. Be thankful, because things could be much worse. Syphilis, a nasty surprise from the New World. Syphilis, a bacterial infection most commonly transmitted through sexual contact, is definitely not what you want to hear at the doctor's office. This four-stage journey starts with sores, progresses to rashes, then a potentially lengthy symptom-free period where you're unknowingly contagious. The final stage brings nasty growths, 
neurological problems, and even depression. The first documented outbreak occurred in 1494 during France's invasion of Italy, earning it the temporary nickname the French disease. Luckily, the printing press, a recent invention, allowed for the rapid spread of information about this new illness. Think of it as the first historical PSA campaign. The more you know. The exact origins of syphilis in Europe remains a mystery. Some believe it existed but was misdiagnosed, while others theorize it arrived from the New World with Columbus's crew in what's known as the Columbian Exchange. This exchange had a devastatingly lopsided effect. While syphilis may have spread from the Caribbean to Europe, the disease Europeans brought back were far more lethal. Smallpox, for example, devastated the Taino population in 1493 and ultimately wiped out an estimated 80% to 95% of the total Native American population within 150 years of Columbus's arrival. History lessons often gloss over this brutal reality. Cholera's 19th century reign, a global scourge, debated pandemic. Cholera wasn't shy about making its mark in the 19th century. While the debate continues on whether it technically reached pandemic status, there's no denying its devastation. At least five major outbreaks roared through the 1800s, claiming roughly one million lives. The first major wave struck between 1817 and 1823, originating near India's Ganges River. It quickly swept across Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and finally, Europe. The deadliest period came between 1852 and 1859. This outbreak, particularly its arrival in London in 1853, ignited a detective-like investigation by English physician John Snow. Back then, the blame for cholera often fell on bad air. Snow, however, disagreed. He meticulously interviewed Soho residents and traced infections to a single public water pump on Broad Street. The germ theory of disease wasn't yet established, so Snow couldn't pinpoint the exact culprit in the water. He just knew it was bad news. His findings led the city to disable the pump, effectively ending the outbreak. Today, we hail Snow as the father of epidemiology, the science of disease spread. Unlike Jon Snow, it seems cholera did in fact know a thing or two about getting around. Spanish Flu, a devastating shadow over the 20th century. While COVID dominated recent headlines, the Spanish flu casts a long shadow. Estimated as the deadliest pandemic ever, it claimed 20 to 50 million lives in Europe and America between 1918 and 1920. That's a staggering tally, exceeding World War I casualties by a factor of four. Ironically, Spain wasn't ground zero. News of the outbreak emerged slowly during World War I, as fighting nations censored negative reports to maintain morale. Neutral Spain, however, reported freely, giving the mistaken impression it originated there. Modern research suggests the Spanish flu likely began in China, possibly as avian flu that jumped to humans. Several factors fueled its rapid spread, including unusual weather patterns and crowded wartime hospitals. Unlike typical flu strains that primarily hit the young and old, the Spanish flu disproportionately affected young adults. The fight against infectious disease continues. Ebola, SARS, and even the long-traceable tuberculosis remain threats. Modern times have birthed DoorDashitis, the affliction of excessive takeout spending. So weigh in the comments, which historical outbreak do you find most frightening? If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you like it. Thanks for watching.